How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to White Day, a labyrinth named school. You don't have to say it that way, actually. I just thought it was kind of fun. Um, so basically, there are two puzzles I have to solve right now, I believe. Just, you know, take a little sip of soy milk before we got a chance. Pretty cool. And I look I actually had to look this up to figure this one out. We have to change these clocks by where they where the actual place is uh, at. So like that would be Beijing, I believe. So, um, we actually have to convert it to uh, from Greenwich Mean Time hours to the uh, plus or minus how many, how many, however many hours it is. So this is the computer lab. So the computer lab is Beijing, which is plus eight hours. I have a chart of all the stuff here. Just for this one specific port of the game, I guess. It's kind of kind of weird that this is a thing. Oh, there's nothing here. Over here. Boosh. Um, we have that is Greenwich. All right, so this room is the Earth Science Lab. So it is GMT, and it is currently eleven o'clock. So the other clocks we have to change to match that. Now that would be this room over here. This is Moscow. Yes, it's Moscow. And Moscow is plus three hours. And this room is the art studio. So plus three. And that means that we need it to be 2 a.m. How do I how do I change the clock? How do I change the clock? Yeah. I'm a little confused by this now. That's that's definitely Moscow. Can I not do I need an item for it? Or something? I mean I just gotta change it to two. It's trying to let me do something, it looks like. Still don't trust those. Let's try this clock, see what's going on here. Oh! Oh jeez. Alright, I derped that up. I Need to do this. Okay, it's still not letting me change it. I'm I'm hitting the button to. There we go. We want to change the hours to seven. Perfect. Now we can do this one over here. Okay. Pull up the lighter. Make it. And then two, which means the last one, which is actually in the occult club, which is over here. Well, uh, nope, in the map. It's, it's again. It's been a little bit since I played. Where's the? Okay, the occult club's on the first floor, right here. Oh, we're gonna run into the. We're gonna run into the janitor, aren't we? I just know we're going to. Do I have more coins? Can I pop more coins in this boy? I have no coins. I have no... Nope. Okay. Cool. Let's hope. He's down there. Or up there, actually. Somewhere up there. I need to get over there. In that room. Just hope he doesn't see me. All right, so we need to go there. And then there's also the electrical room over there I gotta get to. Which I think I'm gonna do that now since he's not paying attention. Oh, he's looking at the doors. Yes, I'm so glad I left them open. Got that. Sweet. Let's pop this door open. Okay, now this is related, I think this is relating to that room we saw, the note we saw, where it said only turn the certain powers on. So, we can. I don't know what this says. I can't read this. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Did I want to do that? I don't know. I just did. Maybe it's not the electrical room I want to go to. All right. So on the plus side, this area is pretty dark. 
I don't want to run though. I really don't want to get the janitor on me right now. No spider? No spider girl. Okay. That's good. And then there's, okay, that's Washington DC, which is minus three hours. I'm not going to bother putting this one there. This has to go to eight. Okay. Everything's all synced up. My shadow is pixely. Nice. And we're in this room anyway, so that's perfect. The document! There used to be a pond at that spot before the new building was built. Of course, there were rumors that the pond was haunted. According to local legend, there was a cursed pond. It was a cursed pond, and the souls of the people who drowned in that pond were trapped in it. The only way an imprisoned soul can escape that pond was to drag another soul into the pond. That's why the ghosts of the pond were more bloodthirsty, killing more people. As worse, the pond claimed a life every month. The school warned the students about the pond, but the drownings did not stop. Some people wanted to fill in the pond, but the chairman decided against it. The chairman said the pond allowed the feng shui to flow, flow well. I mean, how important is feng shui when people are dying, you know? Well, I later found out just how important feng shui is. Anyways, because of fierce protest, it was finally decided that the pond to be, was to be filled in. But on the first day of filling in the pond, the machine operator died of a heart attack. After that, the school had to hold a purification ritual every year for the pond. Time passed, and the new building was built over the spot where the pond used to be. No more rituals. Lately, though, there are rumors that ghosts are showing up again. They say that the girls, a girl's, a girl's ghost drenched in water, wearing an old school uniform that can only be seen in the history room, is being spotted. She's got to be the ghost of the student that died in the pond, of the student that died in the pond. You might ask why a pond ghost would appear when the pond is gone. Well, it's hard to explain, but this world and this, this underworld exists in the same space. What does that mean? It means that humans and ghosts occupy the same space, but in different for lack of a better world, word, dimensions. You also pair it to radios, each of them giving off its own frequency. And that's why humans and ghosts cannot influence each other. So even if there was a building built over where the pond was in the world, the pond could still be there in the underworld's dimension. I will try to find out the truth of all this today. I was finally able to create the occult club. The teachers hate it. They say I'm was wasting my precious youth. Even though people find my club weird, my club is not a joke. We investigate and research the supernatural phenomena that cannot be explained by modern science. Naturally, the quickest way of proving our worthy cause would be to find we would be finding a ghost. Just by sheer luck, I've come up with something called Elrod, which has magical powers. The person who found it told me it can detect ghosts, as well as using used as a dowsing rod. Yeah, just so you know, dowsing rods were pretty much proven to be fake and ooh, spirit bell. Not spirit bell. A bell that makes a clear sound. I'm kinda I'm kinda upset now. I was hoping I could shake it and make noise, but it doesn't do it. An L-shaped rod. Technically, two L-shaped rods, but okay. All right. So we found some stuff. We are doing stuffs. Okay, where is he going? Please don't tell me you're gonna come downstairs. Please go upstairs. Please continue upstairs. He is going upstairs. Which is good, but not great, because in fact, I gotta go up to the fourth floor, I think. No. Second floor. Okay, I need to go to the second floor. Three, two, three, five. Wait, is that, is that the second floor? Or? I'm currently here. Okay, so I need to go up four, and then there. Got it. Do that. And I gotta do third floor still. So there's stuff I gotta do before I can go up all the way. Really don't want to deal with the janitor anymore if I don't have to. Okay. A little confused as to why there is that sound, but okay. We'll let that all happen. So <laughs> three five. Isn't that Spider Girl? Wasn't that the room with the Spider Girl in it? I could have sworn that it was. Oh no, don't notice me. Don't notice me, senpai. Please don't. I think we're okay. He is completely distracted. And I am not okay. I'm not okay, I promise. Oh boy. Alright. Wait, what? 
Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take the chance. Close that door. I really wish there was a way for me to peek through doors. Not through, but like to open the door a little crack and just look. There's like no way I can jump either. I think the best I can do is I can walk as far back as I can and see where the... Where the flashlight is. Maybe. No, don't come over here. Oh. Okay, so he was... He's right there. Okay, that's good. That's okay. You know, not the worst thing. We can figure this out. I don't know how he didn't see us, but okay. Alright, so change of plans. We're going to go down this side first, I guess. Yeah, he's right above here. I think I'm good to walk, as long as I don't sprint. Right, and it's the very end hallway. That's not too, too bad. Okay, good. No spider girl. Alright, what do you want me to do here, game? Uh, check. Not here? Okay. YD electronic? This doesn't have to do anything. So I'm thinking what I might want to do is just start turning lights and doors open. Turn the lights on, open doors just to waste his time. That's the bathroom. I don't need to go there. But now that, now that, okay, that room's clear now. Kind of weird how that happened, but okay. I know what that was about. So now we're here. We somehow got rid of the spider girl, I guess, too. Okay, we got plenty of markers. Why D electronic? That's the same exact thing. Why am I opening these now? Or am I turning the lights on? Oh, I am turning the lights on. Oh my god, I just realized. One, five, eight, ten, twelve. That's the order I have to turn the lights on. I have to do 8, and 10, and 12 now. And then once I have those lights on, I guess I'm going to go upstairs, I think? Because that would make sense. This one's going to be like right there. He's over there. That's not good. That's really not good. I need to go. Okay, that's okay. It's the other it's the other one. This is the wrong one. Oh no, I gotta wait till he, he leaves though. I thought I was opening these stupid things. I didn't realize I was turning lights on. I was like, oh yeah, okay. These all say YD electronic. Why does that care? Why would I give any kind of concern to that? Okay, let's do this. So he's above us even further now. This is the right room. Yes, it is. It's number eight, which is the next in order. And okay, the little sensor showed up, which I believe means that he is around us. He's over there. I don't know what he's doing there, but. Start closing doors, try to get into... This is 10. Alright, we're gonna wait until he walks by. So how's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are good. I'm liking this. I'm actually liking this game. It's just, I'm recording this in the weirdest system right now, where, like, I'm recording a few episodes and then taking, like, a four-day break, so it's, like, always jarring when I jump back into the game. I, I, I've had to watch the last episode each time I've started a new recording session. But really, it comes down to, like, when I'm able to record more than anything. And unfortunately, right now, my time has been kind of weird. But hopefully I can actually, like, in the future, be able to get, like, a day where I can just do, like, okay, I need to record at least a week's worth of content in one day. 
and then do like the one shots here and there. I feel like my system does work most times. It's just, it's weird to me even. Should be okay soon. I just don't want to. I just want to trigger them to have to come down here. So what we're gonna do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna turn the light on for three twelve. Um, do I want to go up? I do. I want to go up to the reading room and then try to skirt past them. I guess it's the best way to do it. He's still there. He's almost there though. He's almost past. He's almost gone. And turn the light on. And so I'm guessing either he's going to go up to the fourth floor. If he doesn't, we'll be fine. Or if he goes up to the, the next floor, we're fine. If he doesn't, not a huge deal. I would assume he actually would come back down. I don't see any reason why he would go to the pool. Anything around here to pick up? No. That's all that open. Oh, no. So, wait, was that? That's everything, yeah. So... What now? What are we doing now? Okay. He's right there. I'm kind of confused right now as to what the game's trying to get me to do. Go. I do a little bit of hiding. I mean, I turned the lights on. Chasing after me? Okay. Wasn't there? Okay, there's this key on the lights here. I I could have sworn that's what that was about. I guess when it was about getting the light to blow up, or yeah, to get the light to blow up or something. Can I do this now or something? Oh, there we go. That's using the noodle. My noodle has been used. Awesome. So now, I heard the sound of something breaking coming from the main hall. Oh, come on, what now? How, how? He that unlocks the door to the rooftop of the new building. Okay, just keep running. Don't stop, buddy. Oh, definitely don't stop there. Uh, does it want me to keep going? Does it want me to go to the roof now? If it wants me to do this now, he's right on my tuchus. I have I have no idea what the game wants me. How am I supposed to get away from him? The game really screwed me over by doing that. I uh, probably don't want to save at this exact moment. I don't know what just happened. I don't know how I survived that, but I did. That was bizarre. And to be completely honest, I don't think that was deserved. I feel like I should have been killed. But okay. Part of me feels like I should have died. Oh, I thought this was a marker. It's a little latch. Can't spin the, spin the globe. Oh, that's not all I wanted to do, but okay. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I'm on the floor I need to be, actually. I'm going this way, there was that door. The door that he was just blocking. I think he's still blocking this door. Hmm. Yeah, any like kind of peek ability would be awesome. This is something that would let me see a little bit more. We really appreciate it, game. Instead, I just have to listen to the whist the whistling.
Sounds like he's towards my right. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the risk! Oh, that was a terrible idea! That was all a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. That was just... Oh my god, this is the worst. Go, go. I can't go. I can't go. It won't let me. It just won't let me. Uh, just keep running. I'm gonna try to lose him this way. I feel like I, this might eventually work. Uh, eventually. Not right away. Okay. Now I'm going to save. I'm going to save in a new slot. <laughs> Just in case that really messes me up. What? That's, that's not the thing? Okay, what is going on now? Is it- what? Is it behind me? Oh no, it's- I have to go to the actual rooftop now. Oh, please don't look, please don't look, please don't look. Yeah, look away. Look away, buddy. You don't want to go on the rooftop with me. Uh, okay. Also, I realize that's a really weird phrasing. Ooh, what's this? The mystery in the dance studio. Oh, we actually dealt with this already. The dance department of Wild High School was highly regarded for having produced a number of famous dancers. Many young talents hoping to be a future ballerina competed in Wild High School's dance department. One of these young talents, twin sisters Yi Eun and Ying Ji, appeared the most promising. People speculated that they would grow up to become famous dancers and showered the young sister with compliments. It was the younger twin, Ye Ji, who received higher praise than her older sister. It was difficult to decide which of the twins was better in terms of physical condition and technique, but it was generally agreed that Ye Ji was better at expressing herself and that she could hurt that she could move people's hearts through her performance. At first, Ye Eun didn't give much thought to the reviews. The same review kept repeating, and after losing the lead role to her sister in multiple performances, it began to worry her and she became nervous. In the meantime, the talent show for the school was quickly approaching. The performance from Wise High School Dance Department was such a good opportunity to make yourself known to the public, since even the media, mass media took interest and covered it. Performing the main role in this school in this show would be the equivalent of making a debut in the world of dance. The school decided to hold an audition for the main role to allow a fair selection. It was the day before the audition. Yi Eun was pacing back and forth in the dance studio nervously, troubled by her thoughts. She believed that if Ye Ji were to take the leading role from her again this time, she would be doomed to live in Ye, Ye, Ye Ji's shadow for the rest of her life. After long deliberation, it seemed like she had come to a conclusion. She left the dance studio with an especially sh shiny pair of ballerina shoes. The next day, there was an accident during the performance. Ye Ji fell during her performance, or during the audition. Ye Ji fell during her performance. Her foot was covered in blood, sliced by pieces of broken glass. Her blood stained her ballerina shoes red. In the end, Ye Yoon was picked to take the leading role. Ye Yoon performed brilliantly and won the hearts of many fans. The media reports say that she was a new emerging genius and aired special coverage on her every day. Jim received scouting offers from a few famous ballet companies for after her graduation. In contrast, Ye Ji was in complete despair and was slowly withering away. Ye Ji repeatedly tried to practice before her wounds were healed and made her injury worse and worse. Eventually, her injury became so terrible that she died of an infection. When the music stopped, Ye Yoon took a break from her practice and sat down to wipe the sweat from her face. She was alone in the dance studio after all the other students had gone home. Of course, Ye Ji would be with her now if she was alive. For a moment, she thought about her sister. It gave her goosebumps and she quickly pushed the thought away. She turned the music back on. Ye Yoon got up and stood in front of the mirror, ready to resume her practice. She stopped when she noticed there was something off about the reflection in the mirror. In the mirror, her ballerina shoes were stained red. Startled, she quickly looked down to check on her shoes, but they were a white, clean pair of ballerina shoes. Right at that moment, she heard, I've been copying you perfectly so far, sister. Now it's your turn. You copy me now. Ye Yoon's reflection in the mirror, the one that wore the bloody shoes, raised her hand slowly to grasp her neck. A gleeful, a gleeful spin spread across her face. That is creepy. I love it. Um, actually reminds me of that movie Mirrors, if you've ever seen it before. I can't get through either of those doors. This concerns me. Uh, power? Is that what I need? I need the power. Bump, 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 bump. I can't go through that door. I can't go through this door. Um, not really sure what the game wants me to do, but we're gonna pick this up in the next episode because I feel like 
This episode has been going on for quite some time. If you're all enjoying this, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to get additional this new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a good day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Wa 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 w